when did the relationship between students and tutors change? And someone suggested it was when full fees came in, when things were priced up yeah. and valued for money. And so it wasn't that loose. Yeah. So in some ways, it needed to become a bit tighter. Um, there, there was certainly a need for improvement in structure. But in some ways, the structure of modules, units, courses create these silos where things are locked down and, and there's not so much fluid, fluidity between tutors. So there might be a really good tutor doing great stuff on the GMD BA course that would work really well on yeah. the MA. The MA could probably benefit. Why can't we have this looser approach? So things became more structured and justified and legal through the, the handbook so that students could see what was being offered. You couldn't offer something that you couldn't deliver. So I think that sense of structure, um, administration, quality assurance, guidelines, uh, regulations.